I was at the campus and um, I got a phone call saying my aunt is coming to pick me up. And um, I said, okay, it's fine, you can come and pick me up. I'm waiting and they just want to take me somewhere and, and everything. And um, then I got started getting Facebook messages and WhatsApp messages telling me that um, from different people that how sorry they are to hear about everything that happened. And so I started to panic and I called my aunt back and she told me just my two grandparents are murdered. And um, so I came um, here and when I got here they told me my parents as well. So that's how I found out about what happened. I'm sad and I'm angry. I'm very, very angry about it because you don't just do stuff like this. You can't just go to someone's farm and just start shooting them and taking their stuff and all. You don't do stuff like this. They were very, very good people, all of them. They were trustworthy and kind and they were the loveliest people on this earth. Mm. And now they're gone. They were the best parents there was and they supported me in everything I did. They taught me very, very well. They raised me extremely well and to be my own person and to be like them in a way, you know, like I have, I have so many parts of them in me and um, you know, they were my life. I would just ask them why. I just want to know why. Why would you do this? And then what is the purpose of doing this? Do you enjoy doing this or do you just feel like you wanted to do it? I would just ask why. I'm just gonna keep my head up. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Everything I do in my life from now on is just for for them the four most important people in my life, it's mm. just for them. So it doesn't matter what I do, everything I do is going to be for them. All the family and friends, everyone there, they're here to help and to stand by them because my parents and my grandparents are friendly, very, very friendly people. So they are here, they were there for everyone.